Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers youtube channel dear friends today in this video lecture i am gonna show you here the some useful 15 technical terms about reinforcement and this topic is too much important and every civil engineer should learn these 15 technical terms about reinforcement let's get start and don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends so in 15 technical terms about reinforcement the first one we have concrete cover for reinforcement so what is concrete cover so concrete cover is also called clear cover for reinforcement and it is the distance between steel surface and nearest outer surface of concrete structure so now uh, we have uh, some concrete cover for different members okay so the first one is column footing we have to take 75 mm clear cover for concrete and footing other one column if the column is below ground so we have to take clear cover 65 mm and for beam if the beam is below the ground so we have to take clear cover 65 mm and for column if the column is above ground so 40 mm and for slab if the slab is below ground so we have to take clear cover 50 mm and for slab if the slab is above the ground so we have to take 20 mm okay now the second one in 15 technical terms we have that is unit weight of steel bar okay so side supervisor should be know the unit weight of steel and we have given weight of steel for different dia okay first for 8 mm dia unit weight is 0.12 kg per feet for 10 mm dia 0.19 kg per feet and for 12 mm 0.27 kg per feet for 16 0.48 kg per feet for 20 mm 0.75 kg per feet for 25 mm bar 1.25 kg per feet okay now the third one is lap and compression zone okay so what will be the formula when we provide the lapping length in compression zone okay so steel should be lapping for compression zone with 50 d d is a dia of steel and 50 is a constant value for that now lapping for tension member okay and tension we can conclude uh, like a beam okay etc uh, so steel should be lapping for tension zone with 40 d where d is dia of steel okay and for compression 50 d okay now we have fifth one no lapping don't provide the lapping lap should be not provide larger than 36 mm die of steel if the die of steel is more than 36 mm so we have to not provide lapping length or slice length or development length right sixth one require binding wire okay how much bending wire are required for steel reinforcement for binding for binding one ton of one ton of okay 1000 kg of steel one ton of ms bar mild steel bar we need to bring bending wire 7 kg to 13 kg okay bending wire is required for one ton ms steel mild steel bar okay other one seven standard length of mild steel ms steel bar okay so mild steel standard length is 40 feet okay now uh, we have the eight one here okay so eight number minimum longitudinal bar in column in a column okay use minimum four numbers of steel in square column and six number of steel for circular column keep in your mind this point okay ninth and 15 technical terms placing first stirrup okay so this is a stirrup okay this is the diagram of stirrup and place this first stirrup with the spacing of two inch first stirrup okay place first stirrup with the spacing of two inch with support okay other hook or hooks angle of stirrup okay so this is the hook okay and this angle should be okay stirrup hook angle is 135 degree okay and 11 bend for vertical bar of column okay bend of vertical bar of column okay so this is vertical bar of column and it should be bent like this okay and foundation okay so this vertical uh, bend of vertical bar of column or longitudinal bar okay so remember that vertical column bar are called longitudinal bars 
and bend as provided at one end of longitudinal bar with the angle of 90 degree okay this is 90 degree okay and also length is present here okay degree and then length should be not less than 18 inches okay so the length should be not less than 18 inch and it will be bent with 90 degree keep in your mind this point okay now other we have 12 end hook for longitudinal bar of beam okay so column end hook angle should be with 90 degree okay end hooks of longitudinal bar so it should be like this at the end okay it will be uh, bent or uh, with the 90 degree okay other one is hooks length of stirrup so the stirrup hooks length should be not less than three inches okay so this is the stirrup okay hooks okay and this is the hook length okay so not, not less than three inches or use the formula 6d okay where d is a dia of steel bar which used for the stirrup okay this length hooks length should be not less than three inch or just use the formula 6d where d is a dia of stirrup which we are using in stirrup not in longitudinal bar right other one maximum lap in a zone okay don't use more than 50 percent lapping zone in any rcc structure if you provide uh, maximum uh, lapping uh, in a slab or in a beam column etc okay so don't provide more than 15 percent lapping uh, don't provide 50 percent lapping in any rcc structure okay so it will make uh, many problems uh, to you other one is 15 the last one bent of bar okay provide bent of bar near its support of slab and beam okay so these are the some useful technical terms and every civil engineer should be learned these points and if you need the article and text form or if you need this page or uh, article so the link is in the description of this video click on that link so you are able to download this page or uh, the uh, this text okay or just visit to my website www.civilstudents.com thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye